Today is what's known as Melanoma Monday. It comes right as we start Skin Cancer Awareness Month. Skin cancer is the most common form of cancer in the U.S. It impacts all ages, all races. It's important to know how to protect yourself. That's why we have Christine Brannick, the Oncology Outreach Manager from Cone Health Cancer Center here with us today. And she's reviewing all kinds of things that you need to know and what to watch out for. All right, first and foremost, let's just talk sunscreen because that's I think what all of us think about, right? There's do's yes. and don'ts with sunscreen. So what are some of those do's and don'ts? Um, first of all, we should wear a sunscreen of at least a 30 or higher. Um, and the SPF, is the number is the sun protection factor that you should look for and the reason we say 30 or higher is because a 30 protects against 97 percent of uv rays um, if we were to look at a 15 it only protects against 93 percent of uv rays now anything of 50 or higher is going to protect against 99 percent of uv rays and of course it does that protection based on how you apply it and how they tested it so let's talk about that it does matter when you apply sunscreen and how much of it? Yes, you should apply sunscreen um, about 20 to 30 minutes before you go outside. A little rule of thumb we say is the magic number 30. 30 minutes before you go outside and a number 30 or higher. Okay, and so then how often do we need to reapply? Because I think a lot of people put it on at the beginning of the day and they spend all day out at the beach and then never reapply it. Yeah, we should reapply every couple of hours while we're outside. No sunscreen is completely waterproof. Um, so some sunscreens will say how long you should, that it is water resistant for, some may say 80 minutes, um, but it's important to kind of use the couple hours as a rule of thumb. One thing I always tell um, kids is when you're getting out of the pool or you're taking a little break, great time to reapply that sunscreen. All right, let's talk about how much sunscreen. So like the lotion kind of sunscreen? So if you're using a lotion kind of sunscreen, it's around the size of a shot glass that you should apply, which is about one and a half ounce. Um, if you use other sunscreens like the spray sunscreens, it's really important that you spray it on really good and you also rub it in. A lot of times we get a rush with those sunscreens, then we might miss a spot and then we might still get a sunburn. Okay, when she said a shot glass, that is like that much sunscreen. That is a lot of sunscreen. And then is that for all over your body? For most, it would cover all over their body. Some people may need a little extra, um, but it's just very important that you get it applied very well evenly across your body. Yeah, I would guess that most of us don't use enough because there's like an eight ounce bottle, right? And there's like four of us. We should go through at least half the bottle in one time out. Yes. Okay. All right. So are there areas that people forget to cover more than others? Yeah, it's very important that we cover our whole body when we're putting our sunscreen on. A lot of times we miss places like our ears. We see a lot of basal cell and squamous cell carcinomas on the ears, which are types of skin cancer. Um, it's important, too, to make sure that we cover our hands and our feet. Those places get left off a lot also. All right. Those areas that are going to be sun exposed are very important that we cover them with sunscreen. Yeah, I think of, you know, you wear like a baseball cap, right? And your ears are exposed right there. You need to put that on there. All right, let's talk about the other layers of protection that we have besides sunscreen, like sun protective clothing. What does that include? So there are some clothing that do protect, have the SPF in them, and those, and those are great. Um, another cheaper option is you can always wear darker color clothing. Um, I know a lot of time, a lot of people are probably thinking, oh, it's so hot outside. You know, darker color clothing is more hot. And yes, it is. But the little rule of thumb we always say is if you take your shirt and you hold it up to the sunlight, if you can see through that shirt, that means the sun's rays can get to that shirt and you can still get a sunburn. Through so your clothes. You, yes. So if you do, because we think about white t-shirts a lot of times. Um, so if we do wear a lighter colored shirt, it is important to make sure that you do put your sunscreen on your shoulders and your chest and your back so that they are protected while you're outside. Okay, that's a really interesting tidbit there. So you're going to hold it up to the sun, and if you can see through it, don't choose that one if you're looking for sun protection. Uh-huh, okay. All right, any so other also, last tidbits before we head to break? Yeah, so it's also um, important to wear a hat that covers our whole head. I know you mentioned baseball caps. Um, but it is important to wear one that covers, it's a wide brim hat, um, such as this one. Um, so we can make sure that we are protecting our ears, that we are protecting our scalp, because those are areas that we tend to forget. A lot of times, like in the scalp here, you know, 
A lot of people don't wear sunscreen, so it's important to wear that hat so that we can make sure those areas are protected. A lot of times we find melanomas there in the scalp because we can't see those. It's hard to, you know, put sunscreen there because it does get a little messy in the hair. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about this. What signs do people need to watch out for when it's time to go see a doctor? Or should everybody be going to see somebody? So it's important to check your skin to know what's normal for you. And when we're looking for signs and symptoms of melanoma, we look at what we call the ABCDEs. So the A is the asymmetry. So a mole's typically going to be a perfect circle, perfectly around. But if we're seeing that one side is larger than the other, the B stands for border. So um, if the border appears, again, the border should be perfectly round. But if it appears irregular or kind of jagged or notched, the C is the color of the mole. So typically a mole is going to be a shade of like a tan or brown. So if we see a mole that has some variations, um, maybe, you know, some tan, black, brown, maybe red, or you can even be as simple as a little tiny dot in there. Um, and then the D is the diameter of the mole. So typically a mole should be smaller than the size of a pencil eraser, which is around a fourth of an inch. Um, and then the E is evolving. Is this mole growing or changing over time? So if you were to notice any of those symptoms, it's important to let, important to let your physician know or to see a dermatologist. All right, and so who do you call? I guess, do you have to start with your regular doctor? Can you call a dermatologist straight on? You can either one, whatever you're more comfortable with. Okay, um, and so um, when we talk about that, um, like do we, go and to, uh, do we go and look for screenings or do we say that we need to just have a regular checkup? It is important to have a yearly skin cancer screening um, by your provider, whether it is that your regular doctor or a dermatologist. Okay, and Cone Health has a mobile cancer screening unit from what I know. So what screenings are offered on that and how can someone find out if they can be part of that? So the mobile cancer screening unit, we offer um, mammography, we offer um, prostate screenings, and we offer colorectal screenings, the FIT test. We do have skin cancer screening coming up on Monday, June the 6th at Almance Regional um, Cancer Center. Okay, and let's talk about just the importance of early detection when it comes to skin cancer. Yes, so um, it's important to, to pay attention for those ABCDs. Some other things there also is the basal and squamous cell carcinomas. So you wanna look for things like any, like a sore that doesn't heal. Typically, if you were to have a sore, it's gonna heal within a week or two. But if you see that it keeps bleeding and crusting over, um, if you see a growth, like sometimes a wart-like growth that's not, um, not getting better when you're trying over-the-counter treatments. Um, and it can also, they can be a lot of variation. So if you see something, it can be just, you know, a red patchy area of skin that you're seeing is, not, is getting worse. Um, and these are all important things to share with your doctor to have mm -hmm. them checked. Yeah, don't leave them off. This is now the time to go to the doctor when you see that stuff. I wanted to go back to, I remember you telling us putting um, the uh, sunscreen on places that we don't normally think about, like the ears or the scalp or the hands or the feet. What about our lips? Yeah, so it is important, too, to find a chapstick that has sunscreen in it because even our lips can get sunburnt. Um, and also, sunglasses are very important um, because sun exposure over time can cause macular de degeneration or cataracts. And we also need to make sure we're picking out our sunglasses and our sunscreens that we're finding that they protect against both UVA and UVB rays. So we kind of look at it, those UVB, the UVA rays are those aging rays, and those UVB rays are those burning rays. So we want to protect our skin both from aging and from burning. Yeah, and usually the uh, sunglasses have like that little um, sticker on it that says UVA and UVB on it. Yeah, and it's really important to look for a pair that does have that. Okay, all right, for all of us. All right, so we've been talking about skin cancer, how to go about going to the doctor, what you should be looking for. If you missed any of this, what we want you to do is we want you to go to our website because we're going to post all of this information so that you have this resource all of the time. It's WFMYNews2.com.